Hi everyone, Alex here from Until the Next Blog, the home of Organic Golf Reviews. Welcome to my hometown, St. Catharines, Ontario, and behind me is the Welland Canal, where we see ships from all over the world uh, bring their goods and take goods home. So I'm not here to do a tourism video for Niagara. Uh, it's a pretty cool place. There's other places that are better in my estimation and my opinion. But, uh, and we just had a salmon here uh, do its little thing here. But uh, anyways, I'm here to do an unboxing video for some products that I received for review recently. So what do we have here? Well, I was contacted by Rafaela Aguiar. Hopefully I said your name properly. Uh, and she is the media representation for Sunday Golf. What is Sunday Golf? Well, they're a company that's, well, they design Sunday golf bags and they make the game lighter, fun, faster, quicker, and we're gonna look at some of the products that they sent me to review. So bear with me for one second while I jump out of the screen and then I'll pop right back in here. So here's the box and while it is already pre-opened, this is uh, what we're looking at here. And uh, I haven't really had a look at this yet. So what I'm doing is opening it and getting my initial impressions along with you at the same time. So we'll start with the big box. Yes, there are two boxes. I have this long cylindrical style box. Although I don't think uh, it can be cylindrical if it's actually a rectangular prism. Wow. Where was that geometry back in high school? Uh, anyways, um, so here we are. Uh, I've never had a Sunday bag before. So having a Sunday bag is uh, something that's totally new to me. Um, of course, what do we use them for? It's to lighten the load. We don't have to, if we're playing somewhere, we wanna play a quick nine or a quick 18, and you don't wanna carry a full bag of clubs, well, you can take your, your selected clubs. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna bring yet, but uh, we're, we're working towards figuring that part out. So let's take the plastic off and have a look at the bag itself inside. So I'll just keep on muttering to myself here as uh, cars are going by. Uh, it's a very busy trail, lots of cyclists and uh, walkers, joggers, you know, those, those kind of things. Wow, I'm really up in there, eh? Uh, so here's the bag itself. I mean, it is awesome. I love how small it is. Um, surprisingly enough, with this Sunday bag, there's also a stand. Uh, we'll have to take the plastic off the, off the stands here. Uh, we'll just uh, rip that off, I guess. And one here up the middle for the slider. And of course, you know, we're not going to uh, leave the waste laying around. But yeah, so here's the golf bag itself. So looking at it real quickly here, um, I mean, you have the Sunday Golf logo here. And uh, of course, their branding is right here on the bag. Uh, it's, a, it's a cool color. This is called their Cobalt Blue. Um, so I'm looking forward to figuring out what to put in this golf bag and get it all set up. So yeah, so that's the bag itself. Uh, the stand here, uh, I'll be taking still photos, but uh, you know, it stands about up to my mid thigh or so. And uh, yeah, it's super light. Of course, we have some uh, accoutrements here. Uh, we have some tea holders. Uh, you know, we have a, a pocket here, you know, for, for golf balls. And of course, you don't need a whole bag, right? You know, we're talking what, three balls, four balls for a Sunday bag like this? Uh, let's see here. What else do we have? Got a, we got a nice insulated pocket, which is pretty pretty cool for uh, keeping your water bottle in there and and or a, a frosty. But always drink from the golf course. Don't be that guy or girl and bring your own. That's bad news. It's bad karma. Trust me. Golf courses don't want to lose the liquor licenses. So just bear that in mind, everybody. Uh, so uh, we have another little pocket here. So for a small golf bag, there's like a lot of a lot of places here to uh, hold stuff. Um, we have a Velcro strap across the top here. That's for the glove. Uh, you should see the uh, glove symbol right there. Uh, let's see here. What else do we have? 
just different pockets in that. Like it's it's pretty wild actually that there's this much storage in this little Sunday bag. I'm pretty excited because I've I've never had one before. So yeah, so that's essentially the bag in a nutshell. It's lightweight. Um, you know, it's, you know, I would think it's good for those that uh, you know are struggling through some arthritis or back issues. Uh, you know, much like myself. Not to bring myself into this kind of a thing, but. Uh, yeah, so that's the Sunday bag. So let's see what else okay. they sent us. <laughs> Someone was just walking by here, so uh, you know I'm not shy to talk to somebody. Uh, so here's the other box. So let's go through this box and see what we have. Okay, so here's the packing slip. And we're gonna see exactly what we have. So first in my hand is the, let's see here. This is a valuables pouch. So has a, uh, has a clip on the, on the back. It's a pretty cool, cool one. You know, you, you might be able to see the camouflage there, the camouflage pattern. And I see a loop on the bag and that's where I think I'm gonna put this pouch. So important things like my nitro spray, car keys, cell phone, they'll find their way into this valuable valuables pouch. So that's the first thing. Next we have not one but two towels and these are the waffle towels. Uh, this one here is called the Ben Hogan Greatest Swing Towel. So as you can see there's Mr. Hogan or a depiction of, of Mr. Hogan swinging the club and I mean it's true, he had the greatest swing, or I mean, had, has, I guess it is past tense, right? So that's one towel. Then there's this one here, which is called the Miami Vice. And I saw this one on the website actually. And this is a towel that ironically enough got my attention, uh, mostly because there's some really nice colors in there. I'm sort of a bright, cheerful, happy go lucky person I couldn't think of the right wording there and uh, you know they have cool colors in here you know has that real coastal uh, Miami Vice vibe there's some pink in there I mean I love flamingos uh, you know just some really cool colors there so that's the two towels next we have well this one's pretty obvious we have a tea bag yes a tea bag it's literally a bag full of tees. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like there's branding on here for Sunday golf. So you, and they have a pretty cool look to them too, actually. So I'll just pull one out. Uh, where is it? Ooh, that's not the right one. And I think there's a hundred tees in here in total. So here it is, you know, has their branding on it. So there you go. And then there's a second version in here where they have their logo imprinted on where the ball sits. And I'll pull one of those out as well right now too. So, I mean, right now the way it's looking, other than clubs, I mean, you have everything that you need to go out and play around a golf. And, oh, one more thing. Uh, last but not least, we have this awesome Sunday golf row pat. So, I mean, you know, it's a real leisurely kind of a feel. You know, golf is a game of leisure, or is it leisure? I don't know, either way. And you know what? This just looks like a hat that you put on and you're gonna relax and just enjoy the day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just trade hats, trade my until the next tee for the Sunday golf hat. I'm probably gonna have to adjust it because my melon is so massive. Oh, actually didn't have to actually uh, actually do that and it's starting to rain so awesome um, so what I'm gonna do now is set up the bag and I'm gonna come back and we'll see what I end up going with so stay tuned and we'll see you on the next tee well hi everyone welcome back so I just finished unboxing everything from Sunday Golf and again many, many thanks to Sunday Golf and Rafaela Aguirre for sending me out these uh, products to test and review. Uh, I'm pretty excited about them. 
and I'm even more so now that I've actually unboxed everything and you know I'm giving a chance getting a chance for the first time to see what I'm gonna do as far as what clubs I'm gonna select to, to go into the bag and uh, see what actually ends up in the bag in general and I'm gonna see how much it weighs too which is a big part of this equation with, with uh, using the Sunday bag so here it is here I've got a few things already put on I got my tees and uh, don't mind the OCD there there's you know a little bit of a pattern going on there here's the valuables pouch I figured that that eye here was perfect for for that or right there I don't know if you can see it and uh, so let's get started so first four important things that need to go into the golf bag for walking or in general is my nitro spray and my dextrose tablets for diabetes so these are the first things that are gonna go into the into the bag so we have that sorted away so again I'm trying to figure out what clubs to carry in the Sunday bag um, the first one obviously is the most important and that's right here the putter you got to have the putter mind you you can put with the wedge or a hybrid too but uh, why so the putter is gonna go in and this is the axis one Tour S putter that I tested and reviewed oh gee I don't know end of 2019 into 2020 so we're gonna just uh, take advantage of the putter slit here on the uh, Uh, on the towel I went with the perfect swing so we're gonna stick that into the bag and it's you know it's it's draped there nicely um, I think I want it on this side though okay I admit I'm a little bit OCD with this stuff so anyways continuing on with the bag setup uh, let's see here well I should probably have a driver in the bag because I might not just be playing short courses where you don't really need a, a driver so yeah I'm gonna throw a driver into the bag so we're gonna go with the uh, Tour Edge Exotics C721 driver be sure to check out that review too by the way great stick so that's for the long the long game okay next let's see here uh, I don't need a three wood. I don't think I'll carry a five wood, but I think what I'll do is carry a three hybrid. So the EXS Pro from Tour Edge makes the cut. Okay, so now we have two clubs, or sorry, three clubs selected. Um, one's a hybrid, one's a driver. Uh, what would I use on the tee or on on longer shots probably a five iron for for my longest iron in the bag which is the longest iron I carry in the first place uh, the the gap is pretty even between the hybrid and the five iron so that being said five iron is gonna go into the golf bag I locate the five. Oh, and I just dropped all my tea on the ground <laughs> oops So I changed it up recently just to see how I felt about swinging a heavier shaft uh, and going back to steel shafts and lo and behold you know it went fairly well so I got to experiment with some lead tape on my on my sub 70s so for the time being at least uh, we're gonna go with the new levels and this is the 1031 forged and this is the five iron that's going into the bag okay so that's in there now now it almost makes sense to go with a club that gives me about 170 because I see that yardage fairly often on on a golf course um, I mean yeah I can do it with a five iron by choking down and, and shortening the swing a little bit but uh, instead I'm gonna elect to put the the seven and right now it seems like I'm going with an odds thing here uh, which is actually totally inadvertent so Let's throw in the, uh, the seven iron. Sort of reminds me of Bill Murray, Cinderella story, up and comer, going with seven iron. But uh, anyways, uh, 
yeah, 700 is going to go into the bag. Now, I've seen where some people actually manage to put all 14 clubs into one of these, and I just don't see how it can be done. Uh, I mean, it's starting to get loaded up pretty good right now. Uh, so I need something for, you know, that 130 range, I would say 140. Uh, so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to put it in the, I'm going to go with pitching wedge there because I can use that at, uh, for a whole bunch of different things. Um, the seven iron I can get away with for shortening it down. Again, I can do knockdowns and hit it a lot shorter than my stock yardage, which is about 173, 175. So we'll say 170 to 175 for my seven iron. So yeah, I think I'm gonna like to put in the pitching wedge. So pitching wedge, you're going in. Thanks a lot there, kid. And uh, so I could go with that. And right now that is a total of six clubs. Um, I could almost drop the, the five iron if I wanted to go really late here. But I still gotta add something for around the greens and in close. And for that one, we're gonna go with the TaylorMade Golf Mill Grind 3 60 degree wedge that I've been testing for about, uh, about two weeks now and it's been a wedge that has performed awesome like just awesome so let's see here one tailor made 60 degree mill grind free wedge recoil shaft um yeah i know i know it sort of defeats the purpose of using the uh, going back to the steel for the time being anyways just it, forget you even saw that okay so there we go we have seven clubs in the bag according to my math one two three four five six and seven that should cover most of the most of the shots I, i'm gonna need on a course i could almost get away with that on an 18 hole course um regulation length that is and uh so here's how it's looking right now and you know what that is so light this is something that i could almost consider doing for the pga show because my clubs are coming down i could save myself you know baggage fees just by lightening up my load. The only thing I'm really missing now from it are a ball marker, a divot tool, which is going to be going in next, and a couple balls. So say, you know, maybe four, you know, a, a, one to start with and three additional, you know, uh, it's just a, a rough number. So yeah, let's do that right now. Okay, so we've got uh, a couple different balls here. We've got the Telemade Soft Response. Uh, there's a Pro V1 here in my hand. Uh, we have a, oh, that's not what I thought it was. It's supposed to be a, uh, uh, a Tour Response from Telemade. And here is actually a Tour Response. And as you can see, we have a big ship in behind me. Uh, it's heading out to Lake Ontario and eventually out to the Atlantic Ocean. So, uh, There's the, uh, there's the balls. So now we have a, basically a complete bag just without the divot tool and ball marker. And this thing is really light. You can easily get around the course fast. And again, if you have back troubles, this might be an option for you. You know, if you wanna walk and you don't wanna use a push cart, look into a Sunday bag. So testing has now begun officially with the Sunday Golf products that you've seen in this video. Stay tuned, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next tee. Bye-bye, big boat.